I'm Brian McDermott. I'm a coach here at Powertrain. Um, played football in college at Westchester University and coached college football for four years after I graduated. Um, coached at the University of Mount Union, Division III school in Ohio. Coached at Westchester for two years and then Franklin and Marshall um, for a year. My college recruitment was a little different than most. I went to a school where our football program wasn't great, um, so we didn't have many colleges knocking on our doors. Uh, my senior year, we had a good year, and coaches started coming, but my grade point average wasn't as good as it needed to be, so a lot of schools were turning me away at the beginning, um, but ended up going on a couple visits, and my brother, who played at Westchester as well, I went on a visit and sat down in a room with him, and uh, I knew right away at that moment that that was going to be home for me and um, that family atmosphere there was what I liked most about Westchester and why I ultimately chose to go there. Some things that stand out to me from recruits are definitely body language, um, the way you carry yourself on and off the field. If I come to visit you as a coach, are you in school? Are you doing the right things in the school while you're there? Um, on the sidelines of games, what are you doing? How are you carrying yourself? Um, just the character you have when it's not you running a football or you scoring or whatever you're doing, um, how you're carrying yourself on and off the court is very important. Um, and then social media too as well. What, do you, what are you liking on social media? Who are you following? What are you retweeting? Um, all that kind of plays into the recruiting process nowadays. A good training program is definitely vital for kids trying to take their games to the next level and that's starting in the middle school level through the high school level. Um, starting before you hit puberty, you know, you might not get the big muscles that you think you're going to get from lifting, but your coordination in those big muscle groups is going to help you develop. Um, and when you get to the freshman year and the high school level, you're able to play at a younger age. Um, and that way you get more exposure in recruiting wise. and. When you develop into the high school, you're in a, if you have a high school has a good training program, typically they're not geared toward your goals and needs, so they're not individualized, which training outside of your high school can be vital to take that game to the next level. So everybody in the high school weight room is doing the same thing. How are you taking your game above and beyond? And that's finding a good program outside of there and being, being able to train to get to the next level um, is very important. I think when you go to a college for a visit, um, the whole process is important. Academics, the team, the coach, the whole culture there um, is very important. That's asking the coach questions, that's asking players on the team questions, and getting a feel for that yourself. And it's not just the coach telling you what they're doing there or what's going on at the school. It's making sure you're asking the right questions to the right people and finding out as much as you can while you're on campus there. I think in the recruiting process, it's vital to keep your options open. So at the beginning of it, be as open as you can, looking at as many schools as you can, and then narrow it down. Narrow it down to different schools academically, athletically, and then um, be able to see the difference and kind of find out where you fit in and where you really want to go. Camps and clinics are very important for kids to be able to get exposure. Um, I know coaches, you get in front of them at their schools, so going to certain camps will be important. Now, choosing the camps is very important. You don't want to go to every single camp every single weekend. Um, making sure the schools that you're really interested in, get in front of those coaches, and you'll know at the end of those camps if they're really interested in you or not. And if not, then maybe that's not the best fit for you and you can look elsewhere, but getting in front of them, showing them what you can do, is important and I think that'll help you in that recruiting process. Social media is very important. Now coaches aren't on the road as much. They're able to see stuff through social media, whether that is your highlight film or that's what you're doing on there. Um, and they can DM you too. So being able to contact you through the social media might be the first lead for you and a school. Um, highlight tapes are important, so making sure when you're sending one out. The beginning of the highlight tape is very important, because if a coach puts on a highlight tape and the first two minutes aren't very good, then they're most likely not watching. Your first two highlights 
aren't that great, then they're most likely not watching the rest of it. So making sure when you're putting them together, the music isn't dropping F-bombs and cursing all over it. Your highlights are at the beginning, your most important plays are at the beginning, and coaches can see that. If I had one tip to give a kid um, during the recruiting processes, be open, you know. You gotta listen to the people that are gonna tell you you're the greatest player ever, but you also gotta listen to the people that are gonna say you're not great. Um, and learn from each and every thing you go through during it. Um, and stay true to who you are and make sure at the end of the day you feel right about the decision you're gonna make and you're not just making it because it's the popular one or you think it's where people wanna see you go. Um, and ultimately it's, it's your future, so take, enjoy the process it's one of the greatest times of your life. A lot of people tell you they want you. Um, so take it all in, enjoy it, and uh, make the right decision.